Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 24th, 2021. Well, we have one more week in May, and then we're going to have next Monday. Keep in mind, everyone, put it on your calendar. Next Monday is a holiday, and we will be closed in the market. So, how, hopefully you had a great weekend, you're ready to kick things off this week. And we had a nice rally to finish up last week. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. And let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get any technical ideas on how we might be wanting to approach the market for today. Now let's keep in mind Asia markets last night had kind of a mixed and rather flat day and European markets seem to also be taking a little bit of a cautious approach this morning. Today we have a very light economic calendar and we have kind of a light earnings calendar as well. So this morning, we're seeing those bulls trying to push higher here. And let's note very carefully that we have a price resistance level here in the Dow that we still need to get through. Now, technically speaking, we improved the, these charts substantially um, last week with this nice little relief rally to the upside. And let's keep in mind that as we continue to try and push on higher, we're holding here in the diamonds holding on to that trend. We held on to the 50 day moving average and we are pushing up toward those resistance levels. So one of the things I wanna remind everyone of the, the careful, the cautiousness to not chase a morning pop. Remember, we've had a lot of those morning pop and drops here recently, um, as you can see throughout the chart where we try to race up in the pre-market and then it just kind of dies on the vine. Let's uh, kind of keep in mind that as we push up, we might want to be a little bit cautious or careful about chasing in this morning. Let's see if we can actually get some follow through buying that can push us through that level of resistance in the diamonds chart. And remember, this would be the exact place where we would be looking for those entrenched bears to maybe start pushing back. So just keep a close eye on that this morning. Um, it's easy to get all caught up in the hype and, and um, um, emotion of the morning and just wanna chase in to the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also has some significant resistance to deal with here in the chart. Now, we certainly held our 50-day moving average. We've held on to trend. Things are looking pretty good here. Um, yet we still have that question, can we push on through? And we've, we've tried. We tried on Friday and just couldn't quite get her done pulling back. We're trying again this morning to push on through, but let's watch that carefully. This Once again, this is exactly where we might see um, entrenched bears push that back down. So we need to see those bulls put in a pretty substantial effort to push us through. Also remember, there's also that possibility because of the way this chart is laid out, there is that possibility that we could just have this light choppy resting period in here out toward that trend. Um, we rose pretty hard yesterday or last week in the last few days of the of the market. So just keep in mind a little resting period would not be out of the question. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now here's where we start running into our substantial technical problems. Noticing that um, this chart has broken its trend we have a, a double top high up here. We have failed through lows in the chart and we still have significant, significant price resistance above that we need to address in um, the chart. So kind of keep that in mind as we push up into these levels. 
that's going to be really, really re important. Now, on Friday, we were able to push up. We, we closed back above our 50-day moving average, and that was bullish. And we managed to get back above this price support. So that's a good sign as well. If we can hold on to that, if we can prove, you know, it's one thing to break a resistance level. It's another test to make sure we can hold it as support. So let's watch that area in here. If we can hold a higher low in here and um, um, see those bulls push through, then we certainly have upside opportunity. Remember, there's that break of that downtrend. And, and once we break the downtrend and we can hold a higher level of support than the bulls, have that um, platform to be able to push from. So watch that closely. We're not we're not all bearish here, but there is certainly some reason for concern. And then if we take a look at IWM, IWM continue, continues to kind of languish below its 50-day moving average. Our shorter term averages have pushed down through that level and showing a level of price resistance up here in the chart. So let's keep in mind we have price resistance running through this area and it's actually pretty substantial. Now we also had the same good news here on IWM um, by the end of last week where we broke this downtrend. Now the question is will we hold this as support? If we can hold a higher low can we push on through these resistance levels? That's yet to be seen, but one of the things we want to be careful of is chasing into a morning gap up open just in case. That happens to be where the bears show up to push things back lower. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX closed the week just above a 20 handle. This morning's bullishness might push us back down uh, below that below that level, let me just put some drawings on here. This support area is kind of a critical support area, as you can see in the chart. We need to see that break back down, uh, push back down. So holding above a 20 handle is still a bit concerning. And if we take a look at our moving averages, notice that we're still holding above our 50-day moving average. Now, I know some people would say, now wait, looking at standard averages on the VIX is kind of a waste of time because it is a little bit, um, the VIX is a, a bit different, but um, we still want to note that we're holding these higher lows in this chart. And although we have, um, we pushed above that downtrend, we have at this point held it as support so keep a close eye on that if we were to have some fear come back into the market that's where those bounces um, in the VIX can happen and selling come into the market now do we have any evidence that would suggest that that's possible well let's take a look at our T2122 our T2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and let's keep in mind that we rallied up substantially at the end of the week um, in T2122. Let's note that we have some upside potential in here. We have that bullish opening where we can push up in here. And this morning we're getting that gap up open that could easily put us right up in this bearish reversal zone. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. So is there the possibility that the pop and drop could occur? I would say yes, there is a possibility that that could happen. Not that it will, but that it could happen. So keep a close eye on that if we were to push up into those levels. Um, that's where we could see a little bit of selling, uh, maybe a little bit of an overbought condition in the short term. Watch that closely. Now T2122 also tells us that we still have a significant downside um, open. Uh, area that we could fall into if we were to um, unsuccessfully breach those resistance levels to the top side. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our T2101. And I got to tell you guys, this continues to be rather worrisome for me in the sense that we rallied, rallied, rallied um, at the end of the week. But notice that our market breadth continued to decline 
during that period of time. We're not getting the breadth that you would normally expect to see in a market that's pushing at new highs and trying to just relentlessly move higher. So be really, really careful here and watch that closely. And just keep in mind, overall, we're in a downtrend and, and that's a pretty sharp downtrend. So we need some inspiration here in that market breadth. Um, pretty darn soon, or there could be some problems um, in the market. Remember, we don't want to see this market breadth increasing on a selling wave. And we did kind of experience that last week, um, or the last couple of weeks in those selling waves where breadth really kind of came up on selling, not so much in the buying wave. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar and our economic calendar does have a few things that we'll want to pay attention to this week but today pretty light day notice we have a parade of fed speakers i tell you what these these fed speakers just it's a non-stop speaking tour for them anymore um kind of ridiculous in my opinion but you know uh, there they are we've got some bond auctions uh, bill auctions, but I don't know that that's going to be a problem at all. So really nothing here to inspire um, the market today on that economic calendar. Now, keep in mind, we do throughout the week, we have some big reports. We have those new home sales coming in, consumer confidence, uh, petroleum status. Thursday is going to be a pretty big day with durable goods orders and GDP. So keep a close eye on that. We'll also get those jobless claims and then international trade and personal incomes and outlays to kind of finish up um, the month of May. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now today on the earnings calendar, we have a rather light day on the earnings calendar. And I could really only come up, there's 30 some companies, but a lot of them are really small cap and uh, that kind of thing. But we do have a busy week later on this week of some notable reports. We'll be talking about those. Take a look at API. API is on the list today to report not exactly a um, a great looking chart um, and you can see we're trying to respond this morning but not much going on here in API uh, CRMT CRMT will be reporting today now these vehicle sales areas have been doing extremely well here recently let's keep a close eye on this as it reports looks like right now it may not have reported we're just kind of setting here so watch that closely this morning. We have XOG, XOG reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. Nice little platform built up here looking very, very bullish. If we can get a good earnings report, could move that right on through. And last but not least, NDSN. NDSN will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, we're going to see some bigger things um, in that earnings report coming out this week. So um, just stay tuned and remember, you can always go back and click the link just underneath the title of the video. Go back to the morning blog to catch that list again if you wanted to review those charts. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel the video is worthy, if you want to help the channel to continue to grow, grow continue to click click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. Even an emoji is uh, counts. It helps those algorithms see that there's um, a lot of engagement on the video and they continue to share this video with more and more folks. So I want to say thank you to those who take time to do that. I truly appreciate it. And I do try to answer um, um, those, those comments as well um, because I appreciate it so much. And also, if you could do me a favor as well and feel like the video is worthy to share, it out there on your social media feed that helps us continue to reach new folks and um, grow the channel so thank you everyone who does do that let's take a look at um, some stocks 
that could be setting up. But please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Everyone has to do their own due diligence. They need to be thinking very, very carefully about their tolerance to risk, their rules, and trading before you move through um, on a position. Never, ever blindly follow someone else's trade. Let's take a look. Healthcare. Healthcare has been doing pretty darn well, and UNH is um, something that I am alerting on. Take a look at this nice, tight consolidation in this trend. Looking for that next opportunity for this to push on through and pop out. So watch that closely. UNH doing quite well. You might want to look at some of the drug makers out there. Take a look at J&J. Um, &J. J and J had a pretty good move on Thursday, pulled back, or on Friday, pulled back by the end of the day. But notice that we're holding in here in this nice little trend, and we're challenging this breakout level here in the chart. Keep an eye on that. J and J trying to hold up might be worth putting this on a list, watching for the next potential earnings, or next potential move. Take a look at Pfizer. Pfizer is setting in the same type of pattern, it slid over here toward its trend, and I want to be watching this for that next opportunity, for that to pop on out of there and move on up. You might want to keep a close eye on Pfizer. And other charts in that sector, there's quite a few out there that are worth keeping an eye on. Um, take a look at like BMY. BMY had a big surge at the uh, last week, and we're trying to break a multi-year high here. So watch that carefully. Breaking through a resistance level like that, if we can hold or prove to hold this as support, it may have to consolidate a little bit over toward trend, but it's worth keeping an eye on if that slips out this way. Watch that carefully. Uh, Merck. Merck might be another to pay attention to. Looks like Merck's getting a pretty substantial pullback here this morning, but let's note that we broke through some resistance in this chart, and if we can hold this resistance as support, there is that opportunity here for that to move on higher. Take a look at some of the um, defensive sector stocks. Um, MDLZ, now, I, I'm biased on this. I do own this position. You might, might want to keep an eye on this, but MDLZ holding up quite well um, in this chart. And let's see if that can push on through to the upside. Watch that closely. MDLZ trying to move on up. Worth keeping an eye on. You might want to keep an eye on silver. Silver had a little bit of a rough day on Friday, but notice that we're holding into this trend holding up pretty well. Silver continues to look pretty decent overall. Let's watch that closely, see if we have that opportunity here in the next week or so to break through that resistance to the upside in silver. Might also wanna be keeping an eye on GLD. Gold has done um, phenomenal here, uh, phenomenally well here recently. And as you can see in this chart, looking very, very strong and broke through this resistance level in the chart. Any rest or pullback in here sets up that opp next opportunity for the upside move. Watch that closely. I really like the way that chart is looking. Um, and if it can hold up here, we've got some great upside potential. Take a look at um, some of these uh, material stocks, if you're looking for a short trade, some of these material stocks are starting to falter and move back to the downside. We've seen housing kind of starting to top out here just a little bit. If you're looking for a short trade, take a look at this downtrend here in Masco that nice little break of that support level. As this consolidates and moves itself over here toward this trend, watch for that next opportunity to the downside. You could also look at some of the builders. Um, they're starting to, um, 
starting to um, show signs of weakness, sh starting to show signs of topping. Take a look at Toll Brothers here, kind of topping. Um, watch this for that potential break to the downside. So we've got a few areas that may be starting to show um, some signs of weakness while we have other areas like the financials. Whoops, not CLF, XLF. Um, holding up the financial sector is still holding in a bullish pattern holding up very nicely watch this in here we could still see those financials push on through and I think we might want to be keeping an eye on energy although energy pulled back a little bit um, we had some oil prices spiking up this weekend so watch that closely um, we might see energy um, push a little bit higher we, we have a pretty significant resistance level up here that we need to push on through but keep a close eye on that so there's a few charts for you to ponder uh, for your day hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day in your training and um, we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning have a great one everyone